Welcome back, my name is Chris Miller, and in this video tutorial, we're going to cover the Flex Content Field from ACF, and it's going to only be available to you in ACF Pro. Uh, so if you haven't checked out the previous video, we talked a little bit about that, uh, covering the repeater field. And the Flex Content Field is really similar to the repeater field, where it's a while loop, and it allows you to sort of have groups of fields that you can repeat over and over again, but where flex content is different is in how modular it allows you, or let me let me rephrase that. It, it allows you to create modular pages, is, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, and so let's go ahead and dive right in and take a look and see uh, how this works. So let's go ahead and let, I've got my code editor up and this is true ad lib style, right? So, I'm uh, going to go ahead and delete this. We're going to start from scratch. We're going to keep our PHP tag open there, working in our index.php file. And we've got our header and we've got our footer there. Again, if you haven't watched previous videos, we've covered a lot of this stuff here. So um, let's go ahead and go to the admin panel in the back end. Go down to custom fields down here and click on pages. We're going to wipe out this uh, accordion field from our other demonstration. And we're going to add a field here. And before we name the field, we're going to call uh, this, or we're going to choose, I'm sorry, we're going to choose the flexible content field, or I was calling it the flex content field. Um, now, uh, if we scroll down here, we have what's called a layout. Um, a layout is a, a group of fields that the flex content or flexible content will allow you to choose from a select dropdown. It, it's not going to make a whole lot of sense right now, but we'll see it in action in just a moment. Um, a common thing throughout uh, sites are things like uh, a set of cards or accordions or uh, heroes. Uh, I can keep going. Uh, contact forms. And this would allow us to sort of group those repeatable sections in a way that um, allows the end user to uh, say, give me a block of something. They get to choose that. They get the appropriate fills. And then the developer on the front end and the back end can then uh, sort of isolate and scope those appropriate blocks and sections. Let's go with our... Uh, Previous demonstration again with an accordion, or let me go ahead and capitalize that. Label accordion, uh, name accordion, and we're going to say title and, oops, yeah, pre-populate that title. We'll keep it text filled, collapse that, add new field. We'll call this content, and we're going to choose the WYSIWYG editor like we did in the previous video and close that. Okay, so that's just one layout. Before we add a second layout to this, let's demonstrate how this one will work. Uh, we're going to leave everything else alone. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, oh, we forgot to uh, forgot to name this. Let's name this uh, blocks and hit update. And let's go over to pages here and click add new and just call this uh, test page. See, now in the section below, we, we have, this is the first time we're seeing something like this. The, the repeater field did not provide this sort of GUI for us. And we can look over here and see add row. If we click add row, we start to get a select list of available layouts or blocks as I'm calling them. And if we click accordion, which is the one that we just defined, we get the set of fields that we defined under accordion. But what if we go back and we want to make the accordion a repeater field because if we add this block to the page or to the section, we want to add multiple ones. Well, we would come back, we would go to blocks and let's click add field and we're doing this right here in the layout uh, accordion. And let's call this... Um, accordion singular. We're going to give it the singular name. We're going to come down here and say that we want this to be a repeater. 
And what we can do, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, is click and drag the field right in to the repeater field there. And I'm going to collapse that repeater field. Now, this is going to seem like Inception a little bit, uh, but we're naming the block accordion, and then we're naming our repeater field accordion as well. This will make a little bit uh, more sense in here in just a second, unless it wants to make a liar out of me. All right, so click Add Row Accordion. Okay, great. I can click another Add Row. I get Accordion, and another Add Row Accordion, and another Add Row Accordion. It looks really ugly, and the naming convention, I think, is terrible, so let's fix that. We're going to come back, and again, from that previous video in the repeater field, what we needed to do is come to our accordion, come down, and change it to block, because we want them to stack. Let's go ahead and say that we want this to say add accordion instead of add row. And down here, let's go ahead and say add block. That should make it a whole heck of a lot better. Let's hit refresh. And now we can see where it says add block. So that's a little bit uh, more clear to the end user. If we click add block, we have accordion. And now we have this button here that says add accordion. So we're going to add one. There's one. We're going to add another one. There's two. We're going to add another one. There's three. We can make this even better. If we go back to here, we're going to keep adding. And let's expand this. And what we're going to say is say, at minimum, let's have one row. Because I don't want that to be blank. If we decided that we wanted to add the accordion block, let's go ahead and start them off with at least one. So at minimum, we'll have one. We'll click update. Come back here. Hit refresh. Add block, add accordion. Great, we have one accordion already. We're already starting off with one accordion. It's not blank, which I personally feel that that is a better experience. Okay, sorry. Um, now, let's uh, really test the power of the block by adding another accordion, another set of accordions, and another set of accordions. And then now you can start to see how the blocks are stacking up, how we have multiple sections and we can click and re re uh, reorder and drag these sections around. Uh, whoop, didn't mean to do that. But here is where it becomes even cooler. So add field, we're gonna call this hero. Ooh, no, that's where I screwed up, Never mind. Backtrack, hold on, okay. We're going to duplicate or add new layout. We don't have to duplicate. We're just going to add new layout. It's going to be, let me zoom in. Boom, right there. And we're going to click add new. We're going to call this hero. And we're going to click add field. And we're going to say title. Most heroes have a title. And let me scroll back up and collapse this and hit add new field. We're gonna say content. Most heroes would have content just under the title. And then we're gonna click uh, was a big editor. Collapse that and then most heroes have an image off to the side. So we're gonna say image. And we're gonna choose the field type uh, image. Yes, great, thank you. We're, go we're not gonna cover the settings in this field. We're just, we're making a block here. But there's a lot of great settings there. And we're gonna hit update, great. Okay, now, flip back over. Now if we take a look at the list, bam, we've got accordion and hero, cool, right? So we're gonna add a hero to the page. Title, content, we can add an image, great. We're gonna add that image. So let's go ahead and start building some stuff. So we're gonna say, hello world, let's grab placeholder, oh, text. Yes, give me the generator, thank you, amazing. And we're gonna paste that right in. Let's collapse the hero, and let's go to add block, accordion, and once again, oh, oh man, I'm just clicking on everything, aren't I, aren't I? We're gonna paste that in, say accordion one, oh, accordion one. 
We're going to add another accordion, paste that in, and say accordion two. All right, pop. Oh, I did. yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, I'm just making mistakes all over the place. That is okay. That is all right. So we're going to say uh, blocks demo. Hit update. And I'm going to collapse this, and now we have hero up top, accordion on the bottom. Here's the cool part. Let's go to ACF uh, docs. Yep, uh, top link there. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, let's go to fill types. And we're going to come down here to a flexible content. And we're going to click that. And we're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down. We're going to find an example. Boom, template usage. Here's the loop example. Really similar to um, the repeater field. So we're going to flip over to our code editor. We're going to paste that example in. And we're going to update the name of uh, the parameters or arguments being passed in. So if have rows content, have rows content. We're going to go ahead and update that to say blocks because that's what we named our flexible content field. And then inside of here, these will be the names of the blocks that we just created. So hero and accordion. So let's go ahead and get, uh, well, we'll say accordion and we'll say hero. All right. So let's go ahead and comment that. Well, let's just delete that for now. And here we're going to say, we're going to echo uh, in H1. And we're just going to say accordion. So we know that we've got an accordion. And I need to put a semicolon. Now we're going to echo here, a uh, hero. So we'll know we'll have a hero. All right. So view page, boom, hero, accordion. Is that true? Let's check. Yes, hero, accordion, boom, in that order. If I flip the order and put the accordion first and hit update, if we check view page on the front, accordion hero. Pretty cool, right? Now, uh, let's see. What's our time here? Ah, that's where about time. Okay, we're going to wrap up this. But in the next video, we're going to go ahead and flesh this out and show you how to organize this. Um, in, in abstract it into a couple of files so it's a little bit cleaner and also sprinkle in the field so we can see some real stuff being output on the front end. If you found value in this video, please hit the subscribe button below. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comment section below as well, please. And if you're on Twitter, find me at Miller T. Chris. Thanks so much. Come back, check out some of the other videos anywhere around here.